How's it going, everybody? If you've completed the Indigo Disc DLC, then I want to tell you about some stuff you can do after completing it. So let's get started right off the way. First of all, guys, go out and catch the 25 legendaries. There are going to be 25 legendary Pokemon you can do after completing the main story of the Indigo Disc. To do these, you have to find a man that stands right outside of the actual entrance to the academy, and his name is going to be Snacksworth. If you talk to him, he will give you different snacks that will allow you to go all around the region to get your hands on different Pokemon. Pokemon back in Paldea. Now keep in mind, to get one of these snacks, you actually have to complete the quests inside of the terrarium. So you gotta do these, I guess you wanna call them barbecue quests, right? Or uh, Blueberry Academy quests. You gotta complete a bunch of these. And after doing about, I think, 12 legendaries, you will have to do group quests. You have to complete about, I think, well, the same amount, like 13 group quests almost. Uh, you got to complete a decent amount of them, right? About 13 group quests before you're going to be able to get enough, like, you know, of these rewards to be able to unlock the rest of the snacks. So, yes, you're going to have to do a bunch of these golden quests in groups. If you need help with that, I have a link down below to our Discord where a bunch of people are doing group quests together. So if you need that, join there. But that's definitely one of the things you should be doing. Complete your Pokedex. I know this is one pretty obvious, but if you complete your Pokedex, you will be rewarded with some awesome stuff. Like, for example, you will get your hands on a Master Ball. So definitely get that done too. I think it's definitely worth it. And of course, you also get the Mark Charm. This is a thing you get from Serrano, the professor of this school. If you talk to him, he'll reward you with it. But definitely go get yourself the Pokedex. Pokedex completion. Speaking of Pokedex, if you guys have caught 200 Pokemon in your Pokedex in the Paldea Indigo Disc Pokedex, if you've caught 200 Pokemon, you can go and talk to Perrin at the entrance and she will tell you the location of the new Paradox Pokemon. And depending on which game you play, you'll get different options. Speaking of different options, there's another thing you can do with Perrin, which is if you guys got the Growlithe from her in Kitakami, you can show the evolved version of it, Arcanine, and she will give you a little bit of reward for that. So definitely do that. It's an awesome little side thing to do. And since we're on the line of Perrin, another thing you definitely should do is catch the new Paradoxes. If you're playing Pokemon Scarlet, you're going to be able to get your hands on the Gouging Fire as well as the Raging Bolt. And if you're playing the other game, you're going to be getting the Iron Boulder. I think that's the name, Iron Crown. And those are going to be specifically exclusive for Scarlet and Violet. But you can find these in Area Zero. I have guides on the channel for how to find all these, but definitely go get these after you've completed the main game. Make sure to get your hands on the new outfits. Now, these guys, you can get from specifically Atticus. The outfits you can get are really cool, but they're very expensive. So to get these, what you got to do is, first of all, make sure you've completed all the story stuff in the post game of Paldea and make sure you've completed the story in the Indigo Disc. Once you've done all of these things, what you can do is go to the school and you will find... Uh, well, the guys from Team Star, these guys from Team Star, you can talk to them like, you know, Atticus, Ortega, all of them, right? If you talk to all of them, eventually Atticus can be found over at Porto Marinada, I think that's the name of it, that city, you can find him there. If you talk to him, he will tell you about an auction that's taking place. And if you bid on the auction, it can be very expensive, up to 300,000 Poké Dollars. But if you bid on it, you have a chance of getting one of these brand new, I think there's about 10 different items. One of them is even an item directly from X and Y and one's from Oras. It's really cool, but it's a good way to get some really cool items. It does take a while. It's very expensive. So try your hardest. Unlock all the League Club invitations. There are different methods for these. One of the methods is, of course, to complete all the previous stuffs in the game. Make sure you've done all your lessons back in Paldea. Another way to do it is, of course, you got to make sure you beat all the people that are currently available. So that's all the gym leaders. If you invite them to your League Club, you can battle them, I think, about one to two times. And then you can also trade with them. If you do this a few times, eventually they'll get a golden bar. And that will also mean that you've completed the journey with them. If you've done all of them, you'll unlock new ones. And eventually, you might get all the way to the bottom. Which leads us to the next point, guys. If you've unlocked all of them, you can unlock the secret boss battle. I will spoil it right now. You can skip forward if you want to. But it is against Serrano. Yes, it's against Serrano, the professor, the, I don't know what you want to call him, the man who runs the Blueberry Academy. So you can get it from him. Pretty cool, but I thought it'd be fun to mention. The mini side quest. This is in the post game. After you complete the main story, you'll be given a book by none else than Briar. If you take this book and go back to Kitakami, to the Crystal Lake at the top of the mountain in Kitakami, you can go there and a little epic cutscene will play where you get to talk to either Turo or Sada and we get the answers to what's been going on in the story. So definitely do this on your own. I'm not going to spoil it here, but have fun. 
Also, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to get yourself the free shiny Blitzel. You get this from Serrano, but you need to do this only once you've invited more people into your league club. He will also be there. If you talk to him, he will hand you a free shiny Blitzel. Unlock and fully upgrade your item printer. Now, this is a new item, I guess, um, I don't know what you want to call it, a new feature that's been added. Basically, in your league club room, you can pay to unlock a new thing. It's the item printer, and if you upgrade the item printer all the way till the end, it will give you better and better items. It even has a chance of giving you master balls. We don't know exactly the recipe out of, as of the moment I'm recording this. Eventually, we might have the recipe for it, but you have the chance of even getting master balls out of it, so definitely fully upgrade it and try to get the best items possible. Go out and catch Meloetta. Now, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I don't know how to do this one, so this may be relevant in the future when you're watching this video. Meloetta at the moment is supposed to be caught out in the wild by doing certain things. We don't know exactly what it is, but it has to do with music, you spinning around and whistling. We don't know the full details, but Meloetta will be available eventually. I know it might be stupid to include it here, but I thought I would include it anyways, because if you're watching this in the future, the Meloetta event may actually be available and then there will probably be guides out for it but i think it's a cool little thing that will be available eventually as we know from data mines of the actual game also get yourself the special gimme ghoul yes this is an event pokemon that's being given out right now by the pokemon company all you gotta do is type in see you in paldea and all you gotta do is change any o's and eyes with ones and zeros so i'll put on the screen right here see you in paldea type that in and you'll be able to get yourself a free gimme ghoul get the shiny sandwich in the cafeteria now this is a new thing that's been added into the cafeteria in the blueberry academy if you go there and talk to one of the chefs there is a special sandwich that you can make this sandwich will increase your shiny rate for every single Pokemon. It does cost a bit of BP and it only lasts you for 30 minutes, but still it increases the shiny rate for every type of Pokemon, which is really incredible and super useful when you're running around in the terrarium trying to find shinies. Also guys, make sure you go shiny hunting. Yes, I know it's easy to say, but it's an obvious one. If you get the special sandwich, you should also go out and get yourself some shiny Pokemon. You know, it just makes sense. Go shiny hunting, have a great time. Unlock all the throwing styles. Now this one, this one is pretty fun. You can do different throwing styles. To unlock all of them, you simply gotta go back and interact with the League Club computer. When you're in there, make sure to talk to this baseball guy and upgrade all your stuff. It does take a bit of time, but eventually, once you've sorted it out, you'll be set for life. Of course, also if you've completed the story, guys, you can go and rematch the Elite Four members from the BB League again, so definitely do that too. If you complete the story, you can go back down in Area Zero and go all the way to the depths into the lab again. Now the lab will be different. There will no longer be that time machine room. Instead, there'll be new crystal room. If you go through it, you can actually discover, and I have a video on this, a secret boss battle against a guard chomp. If you defeat this guard chomp, a actual crystal wall will fall down and open up, and inside, you can find the TM for Terra Blast, as well as loads of items on the ground featuring a bunch of Terra shards. Really cool, I have a video on the channel of how to do everything for this, so go check that out. Unlock flying by talking to Amaris in the school. This is just done after completing the game. You go back to the school, talk to Amaris, and she will give you the ability to actually fly with Coridon or Miraidon at all times. Really useful if you want to travel around. Look, the new camera scan feature. Actually, there's loads of cool, really stuff that's in the camera, but there is a new camera feature that allows you to actually focus in on a Pokemon and see, well, we already knew what, like, you know, level and gender they have, but you can now also see if they're shiny or if they have a special mark on them. It can actually be seen with this new feature, but also the camera has a new feature where you can just add really cool effects and stuff. So definitely unlock all of those back in the club room. If you're back in the league club room, then go and upgrade your music section. So if you do this, if you upgrade the music, what will happen is you can unlock a bunch of different songs that will play in the room in the club room specifically. You'll get songs from Jubilee City and loads of other places like Drift Whale, I think, as well. So there's lots of music you can play. You need to upgrade it using the computer. Also, make sure to make, get your hands on some of the other upgrades. One of these upgrades is to upgrade the actual design of the room. So yes, you can actually in to interact with the computer, give some BP, and you can change the design of the whole room. It will change what it looks like, what can be found in there. So definitely do that as well. Go and do the Ace Academy tournament. So basically, they have actually added a new set of battles and higher level and better teams that you can go and battle in the ace tourney back at the school. So yes, you can redo it and there will be better teams, better teacher or better trainers, I guess, to battle and stuff like that. So definitely do that too. And finally, I'm going to include this 
it's not in the game officially yet, and I'm going to make a video talking all about it here very soon, but there is going to be an event to get a very special Pokemon that we used to know as Dokutaro. We do now have its actual real name. I don't remember what it is, but it's a special Pokemon that you can get. Unfortunately, though, it's not available at the moment. It will be available in a special event later on, but there is some stuff that we don't know truly about it. It is the Peach Pokemon. It used to be called Dokutaro. We do know its actual name now, but like I said, we don't know the full context for it. We don't know how it's going to function just yet. There's just going to be an event in the game unlocked eventually. And you guys can come back to this video and tell me, hey, it happened in the future, whenever it does happen. I'd love for you guys to be like, hey, you know, they finally did it. But basically... It's called Peacherunt, and you guys can see on the screen here what it looks like in the game. Like I said, though, it's not available in the game just yet. You're going to have to wait a little bit before it gets, you know, fully available in the game, before you can actually catch it. But I thought I would include it in this video nonetheless, because some of you guys may want to get your hands on it in the future. And just so you know what you can do in the game later in the, you know in the release schedule whenever we actually get some of this stuff unlocked. But yeah, that's that one. 